Nature walks are a fun and easy way to spend time with your kids outside. You can look for plants and animals and talk about what you see. Here's a nature walk that I took recently. Today I'm at a city park for my nature walk and I haven't been here in a while so I should be able to find some new sites. I already can hear some birds. I saw a cardinal, which is a red bird, and I'm hearing another kind of bird too. So this is just a brushy area by some pine trees. And these are slash pines, a common pine tree in Florida and in a lot of other parts of the southeast too. And over here, this one's called dog fennel. So it's not like the fennel that we put in sausage and eat, but it is usually considered weedy down here. And I've seen it starting to get buds on it to flower in other places, but here it's not flowering yet. Because it's autumn, a lot of the grasses are getting seeds popping out, and these are windblown seeds. You can tell by the fuzz on them. This is something that I haven't ever seen before. I don't know what plant this is. It has an interesting set of seed pods on it. And here's a tree that isn't a pine tree. Could be a tree or a shrub. And it has some remnants of flowers on the tips of it. And this one has really small leaves. So if I was gonna go try to identify this one, I would look at the shapes of the leaves. And some of them look like they're ovals with points on the end. And some of them have a more um, pointed three points on the end. So those are some different keywords to look up if I wanted to go home and research what that plant is. Here's a palm tree that's growing. Looks like there are flowers up here. Oh, here we can see a slash pine up close on the way. Their needles get pretty long and there are other pines that have shorter needles and longer needles. So if you see pine trees you can measure the needles and that will help you figure out which one it is. So here's some really pretty flowers. So this is a tree or a bush that is a flowering plant and these flowers are white with a lot of fuzziness on the ends. So you can dissect a flower and count the numbers of different stamens and pistils that it has in it and that can help you identify what flower you're looking at. Mm, they do smell pretty good too. This looks a lot like the palm tree but I think these are pretty cool. They aren't a tree. They're more like a shrub and they're called saw palmetto and they grow in the southeast. I'm not sure if they grow in other parts of the U.S. but they have little points on the leaf stalk and so it feels like the blade of a saw. They're really cool. They can be bluish in color too. This one's a little more bluish. So I think they're really pretty. And then there's some ferns growing up behind those. So there are different categories of plants and in my plant series in the membership part of homeschool science for kids i teach about the different groups of plants and how to know which group a plant is in and then how to identify plants from there this has some interesting leaves they're kind of crinkled and they have some points along the edges so those leaves are serrated that's what they call that when they are pointy and then these are not serrated here. They're just really smooth along the edges. Here's that same tree flowering again. This seems to be a lower piece of ground over here, so it looks like it stays 
little bit wet after the rain. So that can be a clue as to what kind of plants are growing here too. So if I found a guidebook and there were two similar plants and one grew in wet soil and one grew in dry soil, this would probably be the wet soil one. So pay attention to the ground where you are when you're trying to identify different plants. Do you want to make science fun? Get your kids outside and spend a lot less time planning lessons? Go to eiforkcom slash free. That's ei4k.com forward slash free.